Apparently, they've gone up about 4% today because of the conflict in the Middle East. Hmm. Gee, it's almost like we're reliant on Middle Eastern oil instead of being energy independent like we were just a few short years ago. Gee, it's almost as if you live in an alternate reality and have no memory of Donald Trump spending his entire administration begging OPEC to increase oil production to bring down our prices. Like he did here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and he did that until he needed to do the opposite because oil went negative during COVID. And that's what he made a deal with him to cut production. And you live in an alternate reality because instead of understanding what actually happened, you just listen to Donald Trump. And let's not forget the fact that when Republicans in Congress and Barack Obama passed and lifted the 40-year-old export ban, that made our prices even more sensitive to international prices. And since our prices are tied to international markets, our prices go up when their prices go up, regardless of our energy independence. And you're right, we were energy independent in 2019 we produce this much and we consume this much. So we produced more energy than we consumed by one quadrillion BTUs. Now we produce this much and consume this much. That's over nine quadrillion BTUs, which means we are over nine times more energy independent than we were during that utopia we lived in a few years ago as you describe it. Like, did you really think that our lower oil and gas prices under Donald Trump was because of Donald Trump? Like, did you really? <laughs> no, it, it was because OPEC was producing this much under Trump and this much now. They were producing significantly more under Trump, and that started under the Obama administration. That's why we enjoyed low gas prices, because of OPEC, not because of our energy dominance as Donald Trump likes to put it. And I know you don't care, but there's something you need to understand. If Donald Trump is elected and somehow manages to cut our energy prices in half, it's not gonna be because US producers did it. It's gonna be because he got back to OPEC and got them to produce more, period, period, period. Thanks.